everybody welcome back to Thailand dreaming uh, love letters from retirement okay so I'm doing this video from outside I'm just sitting down at the beach in Cha Am uh, there's not much of a view because there's uh, so much bright light out there I've had to change the uh, view a little bit I might just lower this a little bit as well brought a, a tripod with me so this is part two in uh, how did I get here you might find yourself living in a shotgun shack asking yourself how did I get here yeah so this is part two where were we up to yesterday that's uh, I think uh, we'd uh, gone through about uh, moving to Cha'am from uh, the other province and uh, getting the excuse me while I just lower this a little bit more some minor adjustments this is uh, all new to me this live stuff there's a little bit of noise there's a couple of uh, little uh, food uh, restaurants and whatnot across the road and some bikes and cars going past I hope it's not too disturbing yeah so we'd left the other province and we'd come to uh, Cha Am and uh, had the condo the condo was uh, pretty good it was in the end it was a little bit small for me I couldn't even unpack all my things and uh, I found out later usually the water for a month or so here in Thailand if you're renting is around about uh, yeah, oh, my last water bill was 36 baht, so, and mostly it's around somewhere between 80 and 150 baht. So I found out that this woman was uh, charging me 400 baht a month for water. Uh, so, you know, she was making a buck off me just on the water bill. So in the end, I decided that, you know, I needed somewhere a little bit bigger. I needed a little bit more space. I was a little bit sick of... Uh, condo life up and down in elevators and stuff like that I mean it had everything it had a gym it had the pool uh, it was you know two minutes walk from the beach it had some absolutely magnificent views some of my friends who watch this channel you've seen some of the sunrise photos I took uh, from that condo from the balcony the balcony was tiny you could only fit myself a cup of coffee and a sparrow so you know it you know it just wasn't wasn't my thing you know and so I moved out of there and uh, you know uh, strange things happen in Thailand I can tell you that uh, I had some people come in to clean the condo up as as we do in Australia you know if you leave a property it's got to be spick and span you've got to pay someone to come in and clean it and, everything before you uh, get your bond back so my bond was a month's rent but I moved out before the end of the month anyway I had two months to go so I didn't pay the last month's rent uh, I told her to stick it because I went back after the cleaners had been to check it out and uh, it was all fine it was absolutely perfect and then they rang me and said they'd bought the the quilt cover the bed cover back after being cleaned and so I went back with them to fix that on the bed and I've opened the door and lo and behold, here's someone sitting in the condo that I'm still contracted to, that I'm still paying rent on and I'm still paying electricity and water for and here's someone and internet and you know, here's this girl sitting in there watching TV on the internet and uh, using the condo. So I uh, put the quilt cover back on the bed excused ourselves and left you know of course I asked some questions what are you doing here blah 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 I was I was pretty pissed off at that stage so I went back home and uh, to my new place and uh, I rang the owner and said you know what's the go I said I'm not giving you any more money you know I'm still contracted to that place it's actually still my condo I'm paying electricity I'm paying rent and I'm paying uh, for the internet and here's someone else in there and she says oh it's my daughter it's my daughter you know and blah 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 I said well, it doesn't matter who it is you know someone else is in my place you've given someone else a key they're using the electricity the aircon and the internet 
I'm not paying you the last month's rent. You can just keep that one month's rent bond money. I'm not paying you anymore. I'm not paying another electricity bill. That's it. You've broken the contract. Anyway, so got out of there. And uh, my friend, uh, Matt Sengay, they have a friend who owned a house in uh, Cha'am in Sport Village, where I am now. Now, I'll put a link up here to uh, when I first went and looked at that house and rented that house. Really nice house. And uh, I'll put the prices and everything there and you, you can look at the other video that I put the link to. And uh, yeah, so moved in there. It was absolutely fantastic. Really nice house. You know, good kitchen, good amenities, great internet speeds. Everything was fantastic. Now, when I rented the place of uh, uh, Matt's friend uh, he'd been trying to sell the place for quite some time as are a lot of people here because of Rona uh, there's no one around so he couldn't get a sale so uh, it was logical for him to get someone in there and be renting it out have some money coming in from the property <coughs> he told me he'd take it off the market and he took the for sale sign off the front and he spoke to the agent and uh, took it off the market all good and well i really enjoyed my stay there sport village is a really nice place to live i had really good neighbors and uh, everything was going fine but then uh, a friend of his decided he wanted to buy the property now uh, thor ran it by me and i said well okay there's not much i can do about it i'd only been there like um, two months two three months or something like that so sort of pulled the carpet out from under my feet really but uh, more about that later uh, within two days I'd found another place in the same street about 50 meters down the road that was actually a bit better it was a thousand baht a more more rent a month but absolutely fantastic kitchen you know gas cooktop stove and uh, with a, an electric oven really huge kitchen every furnishing you could possibly imagine I even had spare batteries for the remotes spare light bulbs all the bedding a uh, couple of wardrobes two bedrooms you know absolutely fantastic you know I even had even had spare toothbrushes I think if I think back now so anyway I organized that one and then my old landlord Thor he came to me and he said oh look he felt really bad about it and he said, the owner said, you can stay here until you find a new place or uh, until next year, being January now. I said, no, look, it's okay. I've already find it, found a place. And he said, well, look, I'll give you back the last month's rent in cash and I'll come round with my uh, pickup and I'll help you move. So that was really nice of him, really nice bloke. And uh, so him, his pickup, Matt's, his pickup, uh, Rob and B. So I had one, two, three, four, five of us to do the move. So I spent a few days packing and I organised with the new landlord to pay the pay the uh, month's rent in advance, and uh, which is the usual bond here. And uh, well, actually, I paid two months in advance. One month being the bond, and one month being you know a month's rent in advance. So everything honky dory, really good. Uh, some really nice people helping me by the time I'd packed and the day came for everyone to come around and help me and I wasn't sure if they'd come because you know for me I'm not the sort of person I've done so many moves I'm not the sort of person that would volunteer to help someone move house it's not a pleasant job but anyway they'd volunteered their help and their vehicles at that stage I only had the bike now so I'd sold my pickup and so uh, they came around 10 o'clock that morning on the dot and uh, within an hour the move was done so I moved out of the first place in Sport Village and into the second house in Sport Village next video will be about that move and uh, the new house and I'll put a link up in the next video to that new house where I'm living now happily content and so basically that's how I got to Cha'am you know 
through circumstances after uh, living alone in Australia after an amicable divorce you know it was sad parting leaving my kids although they're all grown up and they're doing quite well they don't really need me they don't need, need my support at times they ask me for a little advice not much because they understand how crazy I am <laughs> but yeah so you know over a, over a, a year of uh, living alone and then a year of uh, and then a few years traveling to Ch Thailand regularly every few months and spending a month here at a time I developed that relationship with a, with a lovely woman a beautiful woman with a lovely family and uh, and then moved here with the intention to marry her and lived in a one bedroom uh, uh, yeah one, just a room in a dormitory as most Thai people who are not really financial live in and I think it cost about six thousand baht a month or something like that just one room with a bathroom cooking done outside uh, that was an experience I lived there with her her granddaughter and her daughter so that was an experience uh, three adults and a child and, a, and an infant living in one room the people that all lived in the other dorm rooms were were really nice people i met some really nice people almost family really lovely people and had a nice time there and then uh, i finished the renovations on her place up in uh, the other province and we moved up there and then you know you know, without going into detail it went tits up that's about it and I had to get out I wanted to get out and so uh, I spoke to my dear friends Rob and B and they sorted the condo for me here in Cha'am so that was how I ended up here in Cha'am I really like Cha'am it's a beautiful place I've made some really nice friends here I, I, I live a little bit of a uh, uh, a life of solitude uh, I occasionally visit my friends and uh, and I go do a lot of traveling and do my YouTube videos as you've seen and as some of you will soon as you get to know my channel and of course I can't travel at the moment I'm actually in uh, self-imposed uh, semi quarantine isolation due to the fact that last week I was in Bangkok for a few days and it's a uh, Rona red zone and so I came back from there and uh, on some good advice and my own thoughts I decided to go into this semi-isolation, semi-quarantine. I go out for a bit of food at one restaurant and most of the time I stay home. Evenings I have food delivered because, uh, you know, I don't want to get the Rona and I don't want to give it to anyone else if I picked it up in uh, Bangkok. So, but uh, all things as they are, I'm fine, I'm healthy. You know, I have no symptoms. It's been seven days now, so yeah, everything should be good. I didn't go out partying on New Year's Eve. In fact, I was asleep at 9.30. Yeah, so, well, 10 o'clock, something like that, yeah. So it was a quiet New Year's Eve, but I brought in the new year with uh, a really lovely person and it was uh, a magic way to bring in the new year together. So all things good and uh, Cha Arm is wonderful met some good people here I was lucky enough to meet Simon from uh, Land of Smiles who's given me some tips and maybe he's turned me, turned me into a storyteller but uh, maybe not I don't know but I'm sort of getting used to uh, yeah looking at the camera and looking at myself now and stuff like that so hopefully I can get some really good stories out to you some really funny stories you know I will do another video on uh, how I get the chat am uh, you might find yourself living in a shotgun shack. I wish I could put the music to that up on the video, but you know, copyright. <laughs> so anyway, I'll put another one up just about the uh, the new place and uh, what's going on now. And then after that video, most likely I'll start telling some stories. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's down here. You'll see the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything but a few seconds to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me, it will help me build the channel and like and share the videos to your friends. And please, please, I love to get comments. I love to hear what you think. I really love to get input. I love constructive criticism. If you've got a problem, let me know and I'll see if I can do better for you. So enjoy the video and ciao for now from Cha'am.